Hey, it's Andreas, and let's talk about Bauch Health Companies. Now, I found a very interesting opportunity earlier this week, and I'm really looking forward to presenting it for you guys. And as you may have been aware of, if you're a shareholder in this company, it has been on the slide for quite some time now. And earlier, on the 16th of June, we saw that they delayed the plans to make an IPO for Solta, this company that makes aesthetic skin creams and stuff like that. So this was not something that was positive for share price. And this also made me discover an asset play in this company. All right, so Bauch Health Companies, it's trading at the New York Stock Exchange. And I want you to pause the video and comment below when you discover the abnormality, because in two slides, it will come. All right, so Bauch Health here. You can see it's been trading at above $30 earlier, and then it's just been on a slide with a disappointing Q1 earnings that caused a future sell-off of stock. And also this delay here in the IPO was a big disappointment both for creditors and for shareholders. And notice market cap of this company is $2.65 billion, so it's a small cap company. All right, now Bauchelt Companies is also the owner of about 90% of Bauch and Lob Corp. Now, that's 88.5% if the underwriter chooses to exercise their rights. However, this company is also trading on the New York Stock Exchange. And we can see here that it's trading on a market cap of 5.51 billions. Are you ready? Here's the final slide. Last chance to spot it. Boom. I told you guys that Bauch Health Companies owned about 90% of Bauch and Lomb. And as you can see, a 90% stake here, if we multiply by the market cap with the part owned, this should come out at a value of 4.959 billion. And Bauch Health Companies is only trading in the market at 2.65 billion, guys. This is a huge asset play. They have this optics company that make lubrication for the eye, stuff like that. They own 90% of it, and they themselves is trading below 3 billion market cap. And why is this? It doesn't make any sense. Well, it makes some sense if you take a look at all the debt that's on their balance sheet. However, with the potential to IP off Solta to pay back creditors. They were doing great up until last quarter, which, which was a big disappointment in 2016. New management came in uh, from Bill Ackman and was able to turn this company around. And now this rough quarter comes and delays some of the company's plans. However, I believe that there is huge potential in this company to unlock value, not only for the hedges that are part of the big institutional ownership, but also for the little retail investor like you and me. And I will be very interested to follow along this company, see how it does. I followed uh, Icans lead on this one to take a small stake back in the days. And I've been following along, see what's going on. And now with this huge slide here, this makes me really interested in, in buying more. I'm not as confident as I was on uh, the uh, Rubicon project and for Huang LNG. Those are the two top picks that were, I was able to find since starting to invest in 2013. However, this is a solid A tier in terms of risk to reward in my book. So that's what I put below the S tier. We have had two of those on this, uh, one of those I presented on this channel so far. But indeed, a very interesting opportunity. And, uh, I will keep my eyes on this one. As always, I hope to make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye bye.